What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to add a category summary page for our e-commerce app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to add a category summary page, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, moving right along, before we get into user registration and all that good stuff, I realized we don't have a categories summary page. So we can click on like programming books, we can go to our programming books category, we can go to marketing books, go to that category, but we don't have like a summary with all the categories listed. And that's super useful for SEO and all kinds of great things like that. So that's what we're going to do really quickly in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django e-commerce series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's go to our store app and let's go to our URLs.py. And I'm just going to grab this last one and let's create a new URL. Instead of it pointing to category, let's point it to category underscore summary. And we can get rid of this bit right here. And we want this to go to views dot category underscore summary. And then for the name, let's have it go to category underscore summary. Okay, so that looks good. Let me go ahead and copy this, save this file and go ahead and close it. Now let's head over to our views dot pi file and let's create this view. So let's go category underscore summary. We want to pass in the request. And let's just come down here to any of these and grab one of these and sort of paste that in. And instead of this going to category.html, we of course want this to go to category underscore summary.html. And let's get rid of all of this stuff for now. Okay, so now we need this category underscore summary page. So let's go ahead and save this and head over to our templates inside of our store directory. And let's write click and create a new file and let's go file save as and we want to save this as category underscore summary dot html. And I'm just going to go to my about page and just copy this entire thing and paste it in. And instead of it saying about us, let's have this say categories. And instead of it saying welcome to go to me e commerce, let's say uh, choose your category below that, that. And let's come down here. And let's sort of get rid of all of this dummy text. There we go. And I'm going to copy these line breaks and add a few more just for good measure. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Now let's head over to our nav bar. And there it is. And let's find the category drop down. And if we look here, we see uh, programming books and marketing books. And here we have the all products link which if we go back over here and look at this, it's right here, all products. Right now it doesn't go anywhere, but we could change this from a home to, let's see, what did we call this? Let's go back to our urls.py file. We called it category underscore summary. So we just need to bop that in there. And okay, that should work. So let's save this, head back over here, hit reload. And now when we click on all products, it goes to this categories page. It says, choose your category below. We've got some white space. Okay. We probably need maybe a few more line breaks, <laughs> but that looks good. So now, like I said, let's grab a couple more of these just for good measure. I don't know, <laughs> whatever. So now we just need to grab all of our categories from our database model and then put them on the screen, turn them into URL links. And that should be good. So let's head back over to reviews.py file and inside of our category underscore summary view, let's create a variable called categories. We want to grab everything from our category model. So that's category. I probably want to spell that right. Category. There we go. Dot objects dot all. So this will grab everything from our category model. And if you don't remember what is in our category model, we can go to our models.py file. And here's our category model. It basically just has the name, right? So um, it'll grab all of those names. Now let's pass this to the page. So let's go into our context dictionary and go categories colon categories. So, okay, go ahead and save that. Head back over to our category summary.html page. And let's just paste this out and see what we got. So here, let's come back over here and hit reload. And we get this weird query set object thing. And it says cell phones, programming books, and marketing books, because apparently we have a category of cell phones. Uh, I don't remember that. Let's go into our 
admin section. So let's go to our categories and ah, sure enough, we got a cell phone category. <laughs> well, let's get rid of that. Uh, let's delete selected items and go. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so let's head back over to our main site. Check this again. Not sure why it doesn't pop that out there, but mm, we must have played with it earlier. So, okay, now we've got programming books and marketing books, but it's in this weird query set objecty looking thing. And yeah, that's not great. So let's come through here and let's create a for loop. So let's go for category in categories. And right away, we always want to end our for loop so we don't forget. And inside of here, let's make this pretty big. Let's make these H3 sized. So it's like headline three, which is a good size. And let's just print out for now the category, just so we make sure this is working. And we probably don't need a line break because the H3 will give us a line break anyway. So now let's come back over here, hit reload, and we get programming books and marketing books, which are our two categories. Okay, that's good. So we can get rid of that. Now we just need to turn these into URLs. Well, first of all, let's get rid of this. Now, if we head over to our nav bar, we can look through here and see how the links look in the nav bar. You notice here it is right here. It's kind of hard to read. Let me kind of bop this over. We've got a URL tag and it's pointing to the category URL, but then it also puts the name of the category. Oh, that's why the URL is because we're not doing it dynamically. We just added those two. So, okay, so that answers that from earlier. So basically we need the same structure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this back over here. Now let's turn these, let me bop this over just so it's easier to read. Let's turn these into links. So let's go a href equals, and then over here we can close our a tag. And inside of here, we just wanna paste in that. So that's category. And then instead of programming books here, we can just pass in this category from our for loop. So that will put out the name, which is what this thing is, is looking for. So uh, we don't need an extra one of those. Let's see, uh, oh, actually we do, there we go. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Go ahead and save this, head back over here and hit reload and boom, we have two links. Now these are blue, you might wanna play around with them, make them look better. Uh, you may want to put images here instead of just, you know, the thing. You might want to have a whole spiel. I'll leave that all up to you. You can make it look however you want. But if we click on this, boom, it goes to programming books. If we come back and click on marketing bo books, boom, it goes to marketing books. And we can come back here. And there we go. So uh, this is a silly little page. It's, you know, doesn't seem all that useful, but it's handy for, you know, just users. But it's also great for SEO, right? So uh, you can play around with this do your all your SEO stuff that you want. If you're into SEO, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you don't really care anyway, but uh, pretty easy and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you like, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.